<laughs> hey guys, so my name's Scott Brink, and I'll get to that actually later. Tool Talk is on MobSF. It's a tool called Mobile Security Framework to analyze mobile applications. We'll get to that later. So, who am I? I've introduced myself like three times today. Uh, fourth year CSEC, I worked for IBM as a pen tester over the summer. I'm on the swim team here, tech lead for RIT Sec, and I am a meme connoisseur. Send me your best memes on Workplace. So what's a MobSF? Like I said before, MobSF is something called Mobile Security Framework, and it can do a lot of cool things, and we're going to get into that. So what are you even analyzing? Like, why would you use this? You're analyzing the code of the applications. So uh, we'll actually talk about IPAs first. IPAs are iPhone applications for iOS devices. It doesn't really analyze it as well as it does for Android. So mainly this is going to be focused on Android. So Android, these are Android packet kits. What that is, it is a zipped archive of all of the compiled code. And luckily, you can decompile it and get a lot of cool things. So now we're going to do a live demo of this. So hopefully the demo gods are kind to me. And it's not there. So uh, we'll go to GitHub first. So here's GitHub. And so it's completely open source, and it can tell you a lot of stuff you can do here. So you can do static analysis, meaning just looking at the code, and we'll be doing that. I already put an application into it. Um, some static analysis of the IPA, and even some Windows apps. This is new. They keep updating this like very recently. Um, you can do some dynamic analysis. I haven't messed with that at all. And so let's take a look at it. If you want to run it, there's some documentation you can go to. Let's do it live. Uh, you can download a bunch of stuff, but that's annoying to do. Luckily, they have a Docker instance. And I'm not going to explain what Docker is. That will probably be another tool talk at some point. But right now, I have it running right now. And if we look, you, what you do is you feed it the APK and... Interesting. There we go. Cool. Okay, so the demo gods like me. So I already fed uh, APK. It takes a while to analyze, so I was doing that before I got up here. This is, yeah, an 18 meg APK. So if you look through this, it analyzes through, it reads the signature, it goes through one of the configuration files called the uh, manifest, the Android manifest, and it'll go through all the permissions. So it'll see this app needs your camera, your course location, find location, internet, a lot of cool stuff there. Does some binary analysis and then it separates up a lot of different stuff. So this is when it's inter process communication here. A um, lot of cool things. A lot of applications have issues with hard coded information. So if we look here, we look in their manifest file. I've already opened it up here. Um, this isn't necessarily a bad thing, but if we look, they have their API keys right here for some other stuff. I know of certain applications that have hard-coded passwords, hard-coded OAuth credentials. I'm not going to show them on stream just so we don't stream out vulnerabilities in an application. But there's a lot of really cool stuff you can find on this, and it's super easy to use if... How do I zoom in? I like that. Um... All you would need to do, install Docker and do this, Docker pull that, it will download everything and then run this command, Docker run, and then that will have, let's do this. So all you would do is you upload, where is it, it's in my downloads. You would give it an APK like that and it's already analyzed that one so that's why it loaded so fast but you should take a while. And there's a lot you can do, you can look at pretty much all the Java code. Um, sometimes they can obfuscate this code so you won't be able to see it exactly. Like if you look at some of this, it's uh, wherever it is, variable 5-5, 6x6. So you can't get everything from it when you're decompiling it, but you can get a lot of cool stuff. And using this tool over the summer, I was looking at some mobile applications and I found, I think like, I tested seven applications and five of them had like really sensitive data stored in plain text. So get some APKs. You can kind of just like 
pull you can actually pull the apks from an android emulator if you want to talk about setting up an android emulator just come talk to me later and there's a lot of cool stuff you can do with it so yeah that's about it tool talks are usually just small introductions to tools not not telling you everything you can do with it but just getting you introduced to it go play with it go download some apks and see what you can find Oh yeah, questions. Where'd you find this thing? I found this in Rob Olson's mobile device security and forensics class. I wasn't even trying to pitch that. That's yeah, awesome. it's, a, it's actually a really good class. Wow, sponsored. Yeah. Okay. Sponsored. <laughs> sponsored by the Center for Cyber. Responsible disclosure.